Hey folks, Rob here, and I got something here that uh, has nothing to do with firearms, but a lot of us are pet owners who own firearms, so uh, when, as you know, I got Lily, our Australian Blue Healer, that we're going to be training here, and uh, I, I purchased this uh, remote dog training collar. Now this is the Huxui H-K-Z-O-O-I. You pronounce that as you will. I say Huxui. <laughs> That's the only way I know to say it. I don't know why this camera is so dark this morning. Anyway, the Huxui dog training collar. I picked this up off Amazon and it is $23. And uh, this is not a true unboxing because Lily has the collar part on. We have been using this for a couple days and I gotta tell you guys when you use this right it is a very effective tool so what you get in the unit is your uh, your unit there you get your charging port both the the handheld unit and the collar uh, the shocking unit or this has three different uh, training modes and uh, you get your USB uh, type uh, this is not a C it's a micro uh, a lanyard and a tester to test to make sure it's working you put it across the leads now the uh, the collar unit itself has uh, silicone uh, studs so it's not like the type that have the, the metal probes and it's just one one length so this might not be the best unit for a big thick fur dog but uh, it, so far, it works good on Lily. Uh, you can use up to two collars with it. It has channel one and two, so that you could put another collar with this. Um, real simple operation. You just, when you hit a button, it wakes it up. And uh, that's our uh, level set there. I have it set at a level two. And uh, so far, uh, I don't intend to shock Lily no more than uh necessary so I, I didn't even really buy it for the shock function although there might be an occasion when it i could see it but so far we're using the beeps and the vibrate and the vibrate is very effective in the two days that we've had this and i've been working with her i've already uh taught her how to um to come when i call for uh using this method and i just watched a few videos on youtube and you can see right there the little lights flashing on the unit that means it's paired there's also a light on the collar that will be flashing lily where you at lily lily come i'll show you how it works uh so we have uh your uh you have your sound unit your vibration and your shock now, if you just hit the button, it's not going to shock her. It's just going to wake it up. Now, that and that didn't shock her. That woke it up. So, you'd have to hit it again in order to shock. So, same with the, the any of these buttons. It just wakes it up, basically. So, let's see if we can get Lily to come. Oh, she's laying right here under my feet. <laughs> she don't have to come. So, let's see if I can get you a shot down there. There's Lily. Say hi, Lily. She had, and that collar is very long. That would fit a very large dog. It's uh. Well, I'll tell you what. We'll go out in the yard, and I'll demonstrate uh, how this little unit works. It's about time to take her for a walk, anyway. So we'll uh, we'll demonstrate how this unit works. So there's Lily. You can see we got the orange collars, black stripe, very long, very long collar. The unit itself is not very big. You can see it there on the bottom of her neck, maybe. And, uh, Lily, come. There's Lily. Come up here. Come here, Lily, come. Lily. There she is. Get up here. Come here. She don't know what the camera is. So, anyway. 
That is Lily. So we're going to back up a little bit and let her kind of do her thing. And I'll demonstrate how just in two days we'll walk back here a little bit. Just kind of ignoring her. Although she's going to follow me. She don't get too far from me. I wanted to demonstrate. I'll try to get a little distance between me and her without her following me. And we'll see how, there she goes. So we got our unit here, and I usually start with the beep. That gets her attention. Lily, come. Lily, come. So just the beep, and she comes. That's my good girl. That's my good girl. And you can see the unit there is pretty small. Well, if my gimbal would straighten up. That's my good girl. That's my good girl. There's the unit. The collar I need to cut off and trim, but the unit is small, lightweight. Not much to it. 23 bucks. Uh, it's got good range. I have not been anywhere yet that uh, it uh, wasn't in range. Okay, so the way I like to use this is I like to start with the, uh, with the, uh, with the sound and that makes a beep on her collar and uh, uh, when she and I try to learn her association with it so when I holler for her to come I hold it down until I see her react to me and the minute she starts coming toward me I let off so that she knows okay how do I get this to stop I come back to Rob <laughs> And uh, same with the vibration. If she's being really stubborn, I just hold the vibrate down and until she, and I'll holler continually for her, Lily, come, Lily, come. And uh, the minute I see her turn her focus from whatever she's doing and toward me, I let off of it. That way she knows that, uh, you know, by coming to me, it's going to stop. Anyway, guys, that's just a little look at the, uh, the, uh, what did I say it was called? Eh, I'll say it again before the video's up. Neat little product to train your dog with. Real simple. Don't overuse the, keep the training sessions short. When I come out to walk her each time, we do a few little uh, sessions. I'll let her get out and start roaming around, and I'll call for her. And uh, if she doesn't want to come, I just hold the button until she gives her attention to me and heads my way and then I let off and so far it's working pretty good Lily come Lily come see she's wanting to ignore me now Lily come good girl I didn't even have to hit the uh, the buzzer at time. good girl good girl Lily come Lily come good girl good girl see I don't even have to use the uh, the button anymore two days thanks for watching guys we'll see if her attention gets uh, pulled away here's a good uh, here's where I use the shock <laughs> she was chewing on Sheila's tree there and about got it chewed off and uh, I shocked her one time while she was chewing on it and you notice there she went and smelled of it, but she didn't chew on it. And she returns right back to me every time. Don't you, girl? Don't you? Don't you? Now here's where we have the biggest issue is when she's ready to go in, but she hasn't used the bathroom yet, and I don't want her to go in yet. 
and she doesn't want to come off the porch. So getting her off the porch, but now here she comes, and I haven't even hit the button. Lily, come. I mean, literally two days, and she comes when I tell her. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for watching.